This is Travis from Gateway Air Guns back at the Air Gun Expo. Um, my battery went dead in my heated vest, so <laughs> <laughs> I got my my beanie on. Technology. Ugh. Anyway, here's a, a gamo swarm. <laughs> I can't even fake it, Rick. <laughs> I know nothing about brake barrels, but we're going to bring Rick over here. He's going he's to explain this bad boy to you. All right. Yes, I know. This was going to be fun. I, I thought it would be great fun to actually make you shoot this. I, I will shoot it. All right. We may have a little competition. So what we're doing yeah, here let's do that. is I'm going to unbox this here. This is brand new. In fact, this was sent to me. Uh, Air Gun Depot sent this out. I'm doing a definitive guide. And I've cracked the tape on it, but that's as far as we've gotten. So uh, we, we, pe we peeked in there. Yeah, uh, I'm probably not going to mount the scope today. That just take too long. So we'll just shoot with open sights. The cool thing about this is that you can. <laughs> you know, if you, if you, maybe you don't know, but a lot of the guns today, they, <laughs> the, the brake barrels are coming out without any open sights. Okay. So uh, the fact that this actually has open sights, and you'll like this, it's multi-shot. So a multi-shot brake yeah, barrel. Yeah. So there's a there's a bunch of really cool things about this, and maybe we'll have do, known. May, yeah, maybe we'll do a <laughs> studio uh, segment on this, kind of talk about all the features, kind of in detail. Okay. Um, for you guys, to check it out. Check out my channel, uh, Ergon Web. I did a video on the Gen 2 uh, 22 caliber uh, Swarm Magnum gun. Is awesome. It's a beast of a gun. So this is like the top of Gamo's food chain. So what, what caliber is this one? So this is 177. So what, this is what weight of pellet are we shooting out of this uh, thing? I'm going to be shooting the, the red fires today. Uh, now, normally what I would do, uh, I would probably have gone through this already, but this is really, I am just cracking the seal on this one and hope it goes well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and generally speaking, I've had really good uh, luck with these. So okay. So what? I see you put the like, target up out there. Yeah. What's the distance we're shooting? About 25 shooting? yards. 25 yards. Open sights. I, God, I hope I can hit it. I, I, it's, it, I, I, uh, I have a hard time seeing with uh, open sights. But uh, anyway, so okay. we're going to give it a shot. And uh, we're going to be using a different camera setup because at 50 yards, the hawk, that big old hawk, spotting scope was like huge all the way like lowest magnification when i bring it to 25 yards you, you just it's just gotcha. yeah it's so what are, we, what are we using for that uh, i've got a, a panasonic fz 2500 here okay and that's got a really good zoom so at 25 yards we're going to be able to very clearly see what we're hitting and we're so, going to have that in our picture and picture yeah that'll be in the picture and picture okay. so i'm going to let you switch back over and switch to the overhead camera while I unbox this. Okay, okay? let me do that. And you can uh, throw out whatever creative comments you'd like to throw out. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the midst of all this. All uh, right. So what uh, what's going to switch us over? What button here? Uh, what's going to be? All right. So what? You, let me get this started in case we see questions. Um, let me get my glasses yeah. too. Yeah, you will need those, right? Yeah. You yeah. know, you walked right in front of the camera. <laughs> Doofus. Uh, <laughs> you said it. All right. So uh, let's take this over here. All right. Where's the overhead? Overhead is number four. Four. So hit number four. You should Boom, see the picture there. change. You we got are it. live on the overhead. Yeah, I got the overhead. All right. So uh, th things in the box. Uh, we've got a 10 shot magazine. Awesome. This has got the new uh, magazine, which is the inertia driven. I'll talk about that like when I'm shooting it because uh, that's very cool. They're talking 1650. I might actually. While we do this, I may have you go grab the crony, uh -huh. and we'll. Oh, did we'll you, when you said sixteen fifty, that's the feet per second. Yeah, that's shooting? like. Yeah, well, all right. So. Dear Lord. <laughs> yeah, that is if you're shooting lint. I, I don't know how else to put it. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I love you guys. I mean, that's but, way yeah. above the sound barrier. It, and, it is, and it, we know hot. pellets are drag stabilized. So it, even if it shot that fast with any pellet, it'd be all, right, all so over the place. All right. So let's. We're gonna have to educate. Poor Travis on how this works. Because, okay. Be, <laughs> yes, just, we know we're not going to get sixteen fifty, right? <laughs> okay. Now they do if you use like the what are they called? Their platinum PBA, which is like a four and a half grain pellet. You'll get I don't know, maybe fourteen hundred, maybe in that That's range. Still so fast. That's very fast. But uh, I, I'm looking to if we can get eleven hundred out of the red fires. Uh, if we can crack the sound barrier with the red fires, I would be happy. So, okay. but I may grab my chronograph and we'll shoot some over. Hopefully, just we can find it. something that shoots subsonic. Well, you would go to like a ten three. Okay. You know, we'd use yeah. like a ten point three. Like I said, you know, JSB those work really good. Or Barracuda, Barracuda and... match. 
at uh, 10 and some change. Mm -hmm. Barracuda Hunter Extremes. You got some good heavy 177s that actually do really well with this gun. Okay. So you can. I, I take, figure you're going to have to get it to slow down. I mean, it sounds like a monster. It is. And wait till you cock it. <laughs> it's beastly. <laughs> yeah, well, can you it's cock like it for working me? Out. All right. Let's get to it. All, all right. right. So uh, last thing's five year warranty. So five uh, years. Five year warranty. Wow. It, it is. Um, anyway. I actually like this gun. I have one in 22. Then I like the 20, the 22 for hunting and just general shooting. But a lot of people get the 177. Ammo is super cheap and so forth. And they really want to go fast with the pellet. But anyway, all right. So here we go. Dun, dun, dun. All right, it's boxed up well. We're not going to need that because we're going to shoot open sights. So it looks like it comes with a three by nine by forty. Yeah. So oh. we've got your. Okay. So. How can I say it? There are some scopes you get that are, I'll call them less than scopes. So switch back to camera one real quick. So now I can talk to the camera. Mm -hmm. um, there are some scopes you get that are in bundled that are less than scopes. They're just thrown in the box and you get what you get. Yeah, yeah. Gamma actually does pretty well with their bundled optic, okay? Okay. I wish it was an adjustable objective, but they're parallax to like 35 yards. Okay. So even if you're shooting close, it, it, you can use most of the magnification. So, it's actually an air gun scope, parallax to air gun ranges. It's actually a really good scope. And they put a beastly mount on it. And that's important if you're going to scope a gun like this with this kind of recoil. You better have a stop pin. You better have everything you need to make sure the scope doesn't slide off the back. They give you all of that here. So it's actually a pretty decent scope. Can you upgrade it? Yeah. Can you go to a Hawk or one of these others that has an etched glass reticle and side focus? You can. Um, but if you're just plinking at 25, 30 yards, uh, this is really adequate. Just, okay. Just for what it's worth. And, and it's and it comes in the box. It's in the box, right? Nice. All right. So here's your here's your new mag. Uh, this is the new uh, inertia driven mag. I'll talk more about that when we actually load it up and shoot it. But essentially, what it does is it doesn't advance to the next round until it feels the recoil of the gun. Really? Yeah. So it saves you from Ingenious. double feeding. Ingenious. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Let's switch back to camera four. Okay. There we are. All right, so we've got our manual. Uh, read that, okay? I, I, Nobody reads manuals. You need to. You, you just do it. <laughs> um, read the manual. Uh, we all know that. And it says here, don't use BBs. Just. Yeah. That's actually a question I get. Like, can really? I shoot BBs in my pellet gun? That's that's something I would have tried. Uh, well, it's cheaper, but it also then ruins your gun. All right, so not a lot else in the box here. Let's see. Switch back to camera one. You got it. All right. Uh, Oh, it's that new gun smell. Ah. All right. Put that in a bottle. We could sell it. Yeah. All right. Back to camera four now. All right. So there we are. Yeah. That is the beast. It is a whole lot different than any air rifle brake barrel thing I've ever seen. God, you are probably more the kind of German wire rock kind of lover of like rws yeah, yeah. woodstock kind of guy all right it, it's that not that's right? not really that it's just i don't shoot brake barrels okay you know, all right so things like that. for those who have never shot a brake barrel the way it works is in here this is a compression chamber uh, mm -hmm. what i mean by that is this is a airspace okay. so when i cock this it's going to push this piston uh, this piston back is there's a big gas ram in here and that creates a gap there's a like a parachute seal here, so when you pull the trigger, it flies forward and seals up real tight, and then it, all this air right here becomes what is compressed very quickly and then drives the pellet out the barrel. So that's how this works. Um, the magazine system just clips uh, like this, like that. Um, that is wild. It is very cool. Uh, let's see, there is a. Some guys must have stayed up late at night thinking that up. This is, they've, they've done a lot with this. Uh, before it used to go straight like this, but then they couldn't have the open sights. How in the world does the magazine go well, straight I'll show down? You. It and does. Then... Um, let's see if I can show you this. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Can yeah, you cause watch the, this? Because the pellet's not facing the barrel. See how it rotates? I see that. Okay. So as it rotates, there's a pellet pusher that pushes the pellet into the breech for you. Ingenious. All right. So pretty cool. That's so, really are we ready to get to the table and maybe take a few shots with it? Yeah, I'll tell you what. You shoot it first. Yes, I will. And um, I'll sh uh, we'll have a I'll, I'll shoot you for a, a Pepsi. All right. Well, uh, yeah, because you don't like Pepsi. Let me go to one. Uh, <laughs> you like Coke? Switch. Yeah, switch over to one. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the other thing, if you don't mind, 
right in the front of the range there, uh, as you walk in the door on the left, mm -hmm. there's a chronograph on a tripod. Gotcha. If you grab that. What's a chronograph? Yeah, go. <laughs> Uh, uh, we've been at this too long. Uh, go grab the chronograph and you back to camera one over there. Yeah, I'm on. Okay, one. go ahead and switch to camera two. Okay, let me go grab the chrony. All right. And don't shoot your eye out. I won't. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to escape for a moment and go get us something to hold this gun up. You know what those red tires weigh? What grains like are? eight point four. Or are, are, they're, they're not real heavy. Do you want this to the side here? Uh, you know what? Let's uh, flip it around so I can shoot the right direction. There we go. Uh, you know, that's going to be fine. I'm just going to shoot over it. If you just turn it on. Hey, baby. How are you yeah, doing? No, that's <laughs> not how you do it. Oh, that's not? <laughs> uh, on the left-hand side, there's a black switch. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to show you something really cool. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave Facebook, guys. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go over here, check this out, right? So, uh, digital link, it's Bluetooth. Gotcha. Okay, so, you so can store your, your you can, you can. We chronograph can move, shots. And I'm just going to say Gamo. And uh, I don't know what the weight is. I think it's 8.4, 8.5. I don't know what it is. Um, it's in that range. It's going to be close enough. All right. So, now, if you go back over to the camera. Okay. Uh, the camera control system. I'm going to go ahead and load up my magazine here. All right, so please work, please work, please work. There it is. Oh, sometimes the red fires, the tips can be a little long. They won't fit in and the they mag. Don't, yeah, you know, you'd figure to get That's them. the way it is with a lot of PCPs, too. Um, you know, with the poly mags, yeah. it won't quite fit in a lot of magazines because it's such a long rounded chamber yeah all right but i love them yep all right so we are all set now this is all clicky click good all right so the way the magazine works is there's a little red a uh, little red clip there and when the gun fires it causes it to index there's a there's an indexing gear and so normally the pellet holds it from rotating okay but with that gear once you fire, it actually stays open. And um, excuse me, once you cock the gun, it stays open. Okay. So that it doesn't load another pellet. Because what it's what they're trying to prevent is, uh, if you've ever been out hunting and you got a, a well me a break barrel uh, like with the swarm, you cock it, you're ready, and oh crap, I can't take that shot. It's not working. So then I'll have to, uh, I'll forget, and I'll go, oh, there's another shot, and I'll cock it again, and you double feed. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Now, yeah. if you've had other guns, PCPs, that don't oh, quite I've get done all the way done, times. the rear bolt, oh, what fun. Oh, I've had people send me their, their guns with nine rounds jammed on. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. fun. Not, no fun. So fun. <clears throat> what they try and do is help prevent that. All right, so I've got my magazine here. Okay. Get that loaded up in here. All right. Now... This is brandy out of the box. So that first, the first shot may be a little loud. Okay. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's beastly. All right, I'm going to shoot over the crony. Don't shoot the crony. Don't shoot the crony. 1,020? 1, 1, I got pretty good far eyesight, don't I? Yeah, 1,024. So now, if that. I had my volume, I'm going to do something really cool here. Watch this. So we're... we're just a hair under okay going sonic yes now here's the thing we're at 46 4300 feet yeah and so the air in the compression chamber is thinner that's right and so at sea level this would be another 100 foot per second faster more than likely okay so let's let's send it over there 980 okay now, see that's a good that's a good speed i like yeah see that's actually really that's a far cry from 1650. Yeah, <laughs> Just yeah. yeah I, I, you know, and that depends too on what you're shooting at, I guess, okay. too. Okay. So I am not exaggerating the force required <laughs> to cock this thing. Yeah, it's well, requires shoulder surgery in the future. It's beastly. <laughs> Beautiful. So it's pretty consistent once you. That, uh, that first shot was the any dieseling, yeah, leftover yeah, yeah. stuff. 
Man. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't want to be doing this like a hundred times in a row, like. All right, so. And these take a while to settle in, I bet, too, don't about they? About a hundred rounds. Okay. All right. I mean, I do read about them on the GTA, so. Okay, we're back right there again. That's so cool, though. I mean, it's throwing the the bullet right in there. Yeah. Yeah. So, and when you when it recoils, it advances to the next pellet. That is ingenious. And you can see it there. So, yeah. if you want to double check, does it have a shot counter on it? It does. It actually tells you where you are on your on your pellet. Okay. Yep, as well. So, very very cool. What what is that called again? A swarm. It's, it's a swarm. Okay. Uh, it's actually pretty neat. Okay, so that'll work out. That'd be a great prepper <laughs> gun, you know. Oh well, um, yes, and I think. Excuse me, that's a big part of it, uh, because you don't need anything but elbow grease. Yeah. Elbow grease and pellets. Or, or really strong wife. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Helga. Um, <laughs> which. <laughs> Would you grab the crony? Yeah. Uh, did you notice when I was shooting the crony that my phone was talking to me? Yeah. So the crony we use, or I use, is the Pro Chrono Digital Deluxe. That's fine. And so what's very cool about this is that it's Bluetooth, and um, it just you can save all your strings. It's just very awesome. I love it. Um, and what I'll do sometimes for my videos, just to keep it simple, is I'll actually record the screen on my phone, and so I get this video of the shot string with audio yeah. on my phone, yeah. and then I can just throw it into the video. So anyway, that's that's great. Right, we're done. I'm gonna go turn this off, volume down, go back over to Facebook, so I can see what's going on. All right, um, so I'm gonna try. I don't know that I can follow anybody asking me questions, Travis. Can I give you my phone? Yeah, absolutely. So you take this. And your, I what's... will field the questions. Awesome. All right. Now, um, if you have shot a Springer before, I've sh I've sh I've shot brake barrels and Springers plenty. Okay, I'm just giving you a fit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, that's a tiny target with my poor eyesight. Okay, if you notice, I am not resting it on the bag. Okay, I'm going to use my hand. Okay. Well, I am now, right? But. When I'm going to shoot, I'm not actually going to rest it on my hand, because that gives. Is there me... a certain grip that you use? Yeah, with these kind I of... use what's called the artillery hold. Okay. So why don't you, you demonstrate that? I will. Um, now this has got way out here. It's too far. But you want to find the balance, and that's about where you're going to let it rest, and you don't rip it real hard, because what happens when that piston goes forward, it throws the gun forward, and depending on where your angle is, it causes the gun to dip differently, while the pellet's still in the bore. Oh boy. So if you ch if you change the position of your hand, then all of a sudden you're looking at things being not where you want them to be. Now, I'm going to cheat. My first shot is going to be into a dirt pile so I can adjust my sights. Okay. Uh, and then we'll go on target. But for giggles, hit the picture and picture button. It's the PNP button there. PNP. It'll be down below. It'll be down uh, right above. It's in that area. I got it. Okay, hit that, and then you're going to hit camera three. Okay. You should see the... I see the target. There you go. She's in focus. All and, right. and once again, that's 25 yards, right? Yeah, 25 yards. Yeah. So don't be sending us 52 messages on Facebook how far you're All shooting. Right. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, okay. Let's see. I'm going to... You, you know, Travis... See, so you got to warm up for this, right? You do. <laughs> you now, this now, thing. <laughs> you see, over there on the dirt pile, the dirt pile is 30 yards. Okay, I see you, where you're you at. You see the clay pigeons? Yep. What's left of them? They can't shoot. see it, but I see what you're doing. Yeah, I'm going to shoot a little high. A little high, yeah. Okay. Right. So, fully adjustable micro click sights. Gamma has some of the best fiber optic sights on a rifle. Um, a lot of times, fiber optics are real, these real thick, clunky things. These are super fine. So they give you really good precision if you have the eyesight to use it. And them. see, for me, if I was to own a brake barrel, I, I'd probably want open sights. Yeah. I'm just, you know, okay. that's my, my gig, I guess. There is a little piece of orange top left. Yeah, I see it. Low. Oh, low. Okay, I went too far. 
Uh, I've got still. See, you can always see if you've got more pellets left. You know what I like about this rig? What? That you're break. You're you're the one breaking it in and getting it sighted in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. -uh. Low left. All right, now I'm out of pellets. All right, so come up. Move this over. How, how many uh, rounds is in that magazine? Ten shots. Ten shots. That's pretty. That's really. Yeah. And you can get. God, that's ingenious. Just a pocket full of mags, right? Yeah. And so. Any idea what they run, price wise? Twenty bucks. They're not okay, expensive. Okay, so. Not, and not. they have different versions. Like the inertia driven is probably more expensive than the standard Gen two. Uh, so. Well, be, being that it's gamo, it's not going to be crazy expensive. No, you know, I I've got some PCPs that the mags are a hundred bucks a piece. Yeah. I hear you. And they're nothing nearly as sophisticated as that. Now, what happens with these, if they do get dusty or dirty, uh, you may need to shoot them with a little silicone um, to get them to kind of, sometimes if they don't cycle properly, um, then you need to hit them with some silicone. Um, now, on the back right there, I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't. But on the back of the bag is your, your shot counter. And if you, if you take your shot and you look before you cock and the pellet hasn't advanced, you just bump that little red button, and you can manually pull oh, okay. it to move. Huh. So it's really kind of cool. All right. Rick, do you know what kind of foot pounds we're talking about? About 18. 18, you said? 18 to 20. Now, with the 22, you get a lot more. There, we're on it. Did you hear that crack? I did. Okay. I'm just answering this guy <laughs> on Facebook here. All right. So I'm going to take a shot, not the target. Are you ready? I am. All right. Okay. Well, I'll say. So let's let's have us a little competition. You got it sighted in, right? Well, yeah. We'll fine tune it when we're on paper, but yeah. Okay. So you want to do the little competition a little later then? Yeah. I, what I want to do is get it like dialed in. Like, okay. I want to be able to hit can, like near the center. Okay. Is that good? You want to cheat? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Fine. All right. Here we go. All right. Little red dot under little red dot. A little high. Rick, if I get that close, <laughs> even when it's sighted in, I'm going to be tell you, buddy, I'm gonna be ecstatic. I I love Gamma has some guns I like and I have some guns maybe not so much. This is one of the guns I really, really like. It is just powerful, reliable, accurate. It it just slings lead like you mean it. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Is that moderator a real moderator? Yep. Because I was about to say, as fast as that's going, it's not loud at all. No, it's actually got baffles and everything going yeah, on. Yeah, I figured something was going on there because I have some brake barrels at home that will blow your eardrums out. So I'm still, I think I'm hitting high left. High left, but in the same area. So it's it's being consistent. So yeah, you got to go right and down. Okay. Uh, did I hit the red? You know, I was looking at the phone, answering a guy on Facebook again. Let me walk out. All right, I'll let you walk out. Hey there. It's a lot more fun if I shoot while you're walking. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what I thought. That's 25 yards. And once you're dialed in with this thing. But it still hasn't broken in, so I imagine it, I mean, it needs to be seasoned, right? Oh, that one dropped way low. Yeah, it takes a while. Uh, you know, you're looking at... Yeah, it's so rounds. weird watching you cock that gun and not put a bullet in the barrel. Uh, now I'm dropped low. I will tell you the one thing I don't like about this, so I can be critical for a minute. Okay. This cheek piece is designed for you to have the scope on it. Uh huh. So in order for me to get a proper sight picture with the sights, it's it's uncomfortable. It's up in your eye. Yeah, it's right up in here. Yeah. So you know, while I could do it with open sights, I'd almost rather them. Not have this cheap piece, or, or make it adjustable. Make it, yeah. Take it off, put it back on. It almost looks adjustable from here, but it's, it's molded, not. huh? No, it's not. It's just molded. Um, but that is something that uh, I don't particularly care for. Yeah, um, and I get it. That's you know, but it's important. 
I mean, realistically for me, given my eyesight, normally i am probably scope it, so it's not an issue. But if you want to shoot with open sights, you may find that that is something that is uh, gives you a little bit of a pause. So anyway. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Which could be why my up and down's going funky, because I'm having a hard time getting a good and, consistent cheek weld. You like all these excuses? Yeah, I, I'm digging it because now, it's now, making me feel more confident in, in the Pepsi up. challenge I, coming up. I got a thousand of them. I'm telling you, I got a thousand of them. We're all right. I'm feeling good about the Pepsi challenge right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm thinking what we could do for a challenge is I might have some of those little uh, daisy shadow discs. Okay. And maybe we just put put uh one on the top of the uh of the of the target so and then we go one to one i yeah. take a shot you take yeah, a yeah, shot something like that or I, you take like see how many shots it takes you to get it and then it takes how many shots it takes me to get it okay you want to do that yeah all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um I, i'm going to take this last shot here and then i'm gonna let you shoot it a few times i'm gonna go find the little shadow disc okay and then we'll, we're gonna do that so you want me to come over there and shoot that? In, in a minute. I'm okay. Gonna, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, well, I'm just stretching out, that's all. <laughs> You're going to need to. <laughs> I might okay. do some aerobics. Yeah. No, oh. just, just strength training. Oh. Okay. All right. That is kind of... Uh, that cheek weld's giving me a fit. I just, it just is. Um, okay. And also, I haven't gotten real comfortable on where I want to put my hand consistently. What so, else you got? <laughs> you like that? So, <laughs> when I was talking about the artillery hold, you know, you, if you're inconsistent, if you're shooting a springer and you're watching your your shots go in a vertical string, uh -huh. oftentimes it's just that position of your offhand. I got you. Just I saying. got you. Just give you some pointers. I'm just trying to help you out. No, I know, and I, I appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate it. Oh, put a little cable here. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. All right. All right, so I'm going to load this mag up for you because I just finished this one out. Hey, can you want to load the with mag? that kind of magazine there too? Can you load it with there's when there's pellets already in it? Yeah, you pop it, pull it out. Absolutely. Oh, okay, because some magazines, you know, on PCPs, you you have to shoot them empty before you can put. No, nah, no, nah, this is super not that way. Okay. Okay, so let me do this too. What I'm going to do for you, because I'm a nice guy, yeah, I'm going to put your fresh target up. Okay. And I'll let you come over here. Could you put a bigger one up? No. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to go get a little two-inch target. And I'm gonna do. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> we might be here a while if that's the case. No, no, no. You'll do fine. And by the way, it's only like 30 degrees out. So. You know. Now I'm see I'm hearing the excuses coming from the other side. Well, of the I told you my battery went dead in my heated vest. Oh, so. you poor baby! All right, <laughs> now, now I'm, get now I'm really target. cold. <laughs> okay, can I shoot it now? Uh, sure, if you want to. I'm gonna go get you a fresh target. Bastardize that one. All right, has safety here. I see. Okay, that's that's cool. Where it's located. Oh, Lord. Hey, can you single load it? Uh, no. Well, I just... I'm sorry. I what, my... what do you do if you cock it oh, already? You, oh, okay. So if you cocked it... And you don't have the magazine. That's not a problem. So if that's, that's not a big deal. Just go ahead and do this. Yeah. Load it. And then cock it again. And you're all set. And now I'm ready to roll. Yep. Now there's a safety under here. I saw that. So why don't, we put, why don't you shoot that one? Okay. And then I will go change the target up for you. Okay, let me just... You see, you're going to have to use your hand. You're trying to use the rest. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, my cheek weld's pretty good for me, uh -huh. but I got a skinny face. So let me, let me, uh... Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I think it, I think it, it might have clipped that pellet when it didn't, may, may not have gone all the way. And we had that. I don't even know what happened out there. There was so <laughs> there was so much act things happening in here. <laughs> All right. So actually, the stock hit me in the face. Yeah, it'll it'll kind of a little bit. That thing's got some 
kick to it. Okay, so hold on. All right. I've heard it being scoped, but I've never heard it being stocked. Sto stocked, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we had a bad pellet. Look at that. See, okay. now, that's what happened to me right there, Rick. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we had a bad even, pellet. I'm not even sure if I hit anything out there. No, you didn't. That 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 loud crack was because. There we go. Put the safety on for you. Thank you, sir. Yep. Quite the gentleman. I know. I try to be. All right. I'm going to hold my face a little tighter to this baby. Yeah. I obviously got to hold on to it. You know, you're right. I still can't get my... It's tough. Yeah, this needs to come down. This cheek riser needs to come down. I got to get way back here on the back. Yep. Oh, Lord. Help me. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll just give you that Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Travis is out. <laughs> uh, look, it is, uh, it's an acquired taste. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It is, it does. I mean, people don't. It's, un it's violent. If people don't understand, they actually have a recoil. And because it's, it's actually really light uh, comparatively, I've got some other magnum springers that have this have a couple pounds on this yeah i didn't think it was heavy at all yeah, so and, and it wasn't as hard to cock as i thought it was going to be yeah yeah maybe i'm just a wimp yeah that's probably, what it's it probably the case yeah anyway so we don't need to swap target <laughs> you know you're not going to shoot 20 or 30 times here to no no that, I, i've had <laughs> enough that was plenty for me well i'm going to shoot one i'm a true air gun snob so let's let's just make that a point yeah i i love it um, yeah, I will. You know, obviously, I'm going to put the scope on it and shoot it with the scope because, um, I, while in the pinch, I could use the open sights. If this was a little lower, just a little bit yeah, lower. See, for me, once you put the scope on, that cheek weld's probably going to be perfect. It is. It is very good. Yes. Yeah. So, anyway, so there we go. Well, well, why don't you go ahead and throw that target out there, the yep. fresh target, and uh, okay. But, but I still don't think there's enough rounds through it to be seasoned where you can get a good grouping like you'd like. Well, you know what? Uh, how, how, what time do we have right now? That's a good question. Because it should tell you how long we've been recording. Go ahead and switch to camera one back, would you? Okay, first of all, let me go ahead and send this pellet out. Now, I'm going to try something. And if you hear a ting, I got lucky. You going for the chicken out there? Oh no, uh, the turkey. Turkey, yeah. whatever it is. I went over it. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so, so you want camera one is where we were. Uh, we should have been on camera two. Well, turn picture and picture off. Okay. All right, and then switch over to camera one. All right. There we go. Okay, so I said I wasn't going to do this, but maybe we just do this. Okay. Well, maybe we put it on, give these people a break. Well, it's only going to take a minute. Okay. I and mean, I'll just walk through it. I mean, heck. You know how many people ask me how do I install a scope? Goodness. We'll just do it real quick. All right. Let me get, take that from you. What you doing? Taking the, all the stuff. Stuff out. Excellent. Here. Thank you. So, uh, so you get the scope. Um, why don't we do a... Let me try something. Why don't you do picture in picture? Okay. And then hit camera four. So hit picture in picture and then four. Done. You should see the yep, picture got the picture table. And the table. And right? you. Excellent. All right. So this is what's super important with these, and this is why I was kind of talking about the cool things about this particular scope. You see that pin right there? I do. Okay. So that's going to go pin. back in this hole right here. Okay. Okay. So that's where this that's where this rides. Okay, so the, the, one of the features I have on this is this rail is called a recoil reducing rail. Now, how it works, I, I don't know, but I know scopes seem to last better. So maybe they've got something going on here, I would imagine. So they patented it. So, uh, but there's two little rubber or three maybe rubber spacers in here. Mm -hmm. So you have this big block here that sort of locks everything down. Yeah. And this can shift. I mean, if it has to, it can shift, but it's got this rubber recoil back here. I see. Okay, so, so it's, it's like a sliding thing. block that the... Uh, it's not supposed to slide, but, man, these things, re you felt the recoil. I mean, it's, it's oh, yeah. sharp. No, it's, it, it, it's got some punch to it. Okay, so we'll put this on. 
That's quite the scope mount, isn't it? It's massive. Dude, that's like a like a f true powder burner style scope mount. Yeah. Okay. But it, right. it, it does have some kick to it. All right. So they give you the little doohickey. But it's more than kick to me. It's, it's like, uh, I don't know. Like it, look, there's the two actions. There is two actions. What happens? The you have the press in your shoulder when the piston flies forward. So you have the you know that equal and opposite reaction stuff going on. Okay. So the piston goes forward, the gun shoots in the back, but then that piston slams hard, and that's that jarring smack. Yeah. And it's very sharp, um, like a a spring gun, which I actually am a fan of just old springers because mm -hmm. they're less harsh. Yeah. I prefer an old, you know, just a, give me a Beeman R9 or one of those guns. That, man, it's just really nice. I have a Diana 75 side lever. Oh, I think I know the gun you're talking about. It's a little 10-meter dealie. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That thing, goodness. you can't even feel it. Yeah, that and is. It was a, built in the, mine was built in 70, I think. There something. was a guy in. God, that thing's a beautiful a really piece of machinery. really nice old guy in Havasu who had one of those guns, and mm -hmm. it was just awesome. Oh, it's amazing. Um, all right, so Crazy. I've tightened these down, okay? And, uh, you know, before you just go shoot it, you want to make sure when you're square, uh -huh. uh, and then you want to double check your screws up here too. So let me just see what we got here. Okay, that's, now I would, I would want this back further, but I'm just gonna live with it. Okay. Um, I mean, I would loosen these all the way up and just slide them back. Sure, sure. Um, but it's square, so I'm just going to shoot it the way it is. Right. Um, rather than doing a bunch of adjusting. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So um, that's not always the case, but it is the case today. So we'll just make sure these are tight and they're not. Okay, so if you wonder why your scope's wandering and you just threw it on, maybe you didn't check your, your mount. Your huh? mount. So mm -hmm. definitely do that. Yeah, that's loose as a goose here. So. I want to give those a quick turning. Okay. All right. And I'm going to do the same sort of drill. I'm going to shoot the dirt pile and get close and then we'll see if I do any better all right here we go okay all right uh, and yep we are just gonna go for that pile of stuff ready yeah you guys aren't gonna see this on camera because it's way right of the target low Okay, so I've been to the Squirrel Master Classic a whole bunch of times, mm -hmm. and I would get there early and help set the guns up, and pretty much all of the guns, when I'm putting a fresh scope on them, they all shoot about one full rotation low, maybe one, one and a half. Left to right's great, but they're just low, so one, two. I'll just do one full rotation. That is so cool how you don't have to load a pellet every single time you cock it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's really that's really well engineered. A little low still. Yeah, probably half a dial yep. still. There you go. I was wiggling a little bit. I'm gonna get like a quarter turn here. Yeah. All right, so and the gun looks big and beefy and heavy, but it's not. It's pretty. It's, it's pretty, pretty light. light. Okay, so I'm gonna go put a fresh target up. Okay. And then maybe maybe you'll want to shoot it with the scope. Or or maybe not. <laughs> right back. <laughs> okay, so you had asked the question: Can we load the mag halfway through? Yes, we can. Let's do it now. Okay. And again, I haven't tried any other pellets. I'm just shooting these red fires. Yeah. Yeah, and we and you have no idea if those shoot good out of the gun or not. They're pretty good. Just yeah. are they? Good. Yeah. Generally speaking, they're pretty good. Out of the gamo but, guns. Yeah. Okay. Red fires. It's funny, you know. You see some of these pellets that don't 
look good, they have cast lines and stuff that look like that's never going to shoot well. Well, sometimes you get these red fires and they kind of look kind of nasty. Before they still just shoot good. I don't know how. Hmm. I don't know. They just do. All right. I might need some ibuprofen after this whole episode. All right, here we go. Oh, the eye relief is so much better. Yeah, look, it looks it looks super comfortable now. Okay, let me see here. I'm gonna adjust the. It'd have been nice if that uh, cheek riser had some rubber on it. Yeah. You know, for for the recoil, it's fairly. It's stout. It's in that plastic, you know, when it kicks back on you, it's a little. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Oh, that's better. Well, that's some amazing engineering, though, with that whole magazine operation. All right, let's see how I do here. I am way off. Well, I don't know where I went. All right, I'm gonna try the dirt pile one more time. Ugh. Oh my goodness, that way high. That sound like it clipped something. Hold on. Uh, let's try again here. There it is, just a little left. All right. Do you recommend when someone picks up one of these that they clean the barrel right away before they start shooting it? Or just start shooting it and see how it shoots first. I used to say clean the barrel. Mm -hmm. I have found just shoot it. Just shoot it? Yeah, I mean, you're going to blow out the first hundred rounds while everything is settling in, the ram and the piston and all that stuff. Use that, throw pellets through it. Heavier pellets tend to make it calm down a little bit faster, just as a note. Okay. Some uh, barracuda match, something like that. Um, but then it's, it, look, there's nothing to foul in it. And now this is moving pretty fast, so it will lead over time. Um, but the problem with cleaning this, these barrels is you have this daggum baffles. And it can be a real problem. You get stuff jam stuck in the baffles and stuff. So unless you have a boar snake that you can get down there and make it really do what you need it to do, it's, it's kind of... I a noticed, too, when you cock that gun open, the breech isn't... Isn't av yeah, available exactly. now. You. you can pop the whole mechanism off and get to it to clean. Oh, okay. It. All right. Let's see if I can get on paper here. Now you go back to open sights. Oh, hitting something. Okay. Let me try something here. There it is. There you go. I'm just hitting a little high. There you so go. So I am, what I'm doing is I'm aiming at the bottom of the target. Yeah. Well, when you were shooting out there at the dirt, it looked like they were all high to me, but. There you go. Now you're in it. Yeah. You're in it to win it. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to shoot this gun after it broke in. Yeah, now you're in the now you're in the game. What do, what's the retail on that gun? I want to say it's about 300 300 bucks. 300. And you don't need a compressor, you don't need a pump, you don't yeah. need nothing. Yep, just shoot it. Just buy ammo. <clears throat> okay, you're right there. I mean, so uh, I don't, I can't see very good from here, just with my natural eyes. But hopefully that came up okay on camera. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, you, but it's I mean, starting to group. It's starting to tighten up. It's it is going to take a little break in time, but there you go. Um, I like the Gamma Swarm Magnum. The Gen Two with the inertia driven mag works really, really well. Um, I think the 177 works a little bit smoother than the 22, 
kind of got to watch the 22 because the heavier pellets may cause the mag to drag a little bit. So you got to okay. pay attention. But 177 has been <clears throat> flawless. So it, it, what pellets? Other than those red fires, shoot well out of those. I would go, I, I, this is the pellets I would try. 8.4 JSBs. 8.4 JSBs. Uh, 10 threes. And this is all 177. Yeah, 10 threes. JSB. JSB 10 threes. Okay. The Barracuda Match. Okay. H&N. &N. Hunter. Barracuda Hunter Extremes. All H&N. &N. Okay. Yeah, so all of that. And it's weird because the JSB has a seemingly, in my opinion, has a softer alloy. Yeah. And the H and is harder. Mm -hmm. and generally speaking, you don't have the two don't mix. Um, but I find that in PCPs as well. But for some reason, um, the I don't know if it's the weight just calms the gun down a bit. Um, now, if we were at sea level, these would be cracking 1100. I'm pretty yeah. sure of it. Um, but it's just well, at least 1050. But uh, because we're the elevation is going to shoot a little bit less. Which is the opposite in a PCP. Is it really? Yeah. Oh yeah, because the yeah, 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 yeah. Because the air's it. already pressurized, yeah. and then now you're just sending it through thinner atmosphere. Yeah, I got you. All right, well, guys, yeah. that's a lot, I know. Okay. I don't know how long, that was a long video. but That was. But from a, uh, like, if you guys were, I'm going to switch back to camera one for me and yeah. just turn off picture in picture. There we go. So if you guys were, uh, you know, at range day, shot show, and got to spend some time with a gun like this, I hope that gives you an idea of kind of what you'd be able to kind of sit down and do. Um, you'd never get that much time with a gun at range day. No, no. Yeah, they have you ushered off because there's other people in line. But, um, you know, I didn't talk about the trigger. It's Gamo's standard. Uh, I'll give them, I right, gotta give Gamo a little grief on this bit, just a teeny bit, um, with their smooth action trigger. Look, it is very smooth. And it is adjustable, but it's adjustable worse than it is, not better. <laughs> you okay. make it worse, but not better. Uh, I didn't find it too bad myself. Worse is relative, okay? Um, I love the fact that the first stage is like non-existent. It's super, super light. But you're not a, it's not a stage. Uh -huh. You're not moving anything in the right. sewer. It's just a spring take up. Yeah, I didn't fill a first stage. Is it, does it have yeah, a first stage? Yeah, absolutely. I didn't fill that. Okay. And then I have, think I was so worried about the recoil the whole time that I really wasn't paying attention to the trigger pull. Yeah, but that's the, it's very smooth. There is no grit in it, so they have that right. I wish I could shorten the second stage. The second stage to me is a little. Oh, I bit bet longer. you there's about a hundred guys on the GTA that could tell you how to do that. Oh, I know you can. You can. You have to modify the gun, which is fine if that's what you want to do. I yeah. like to be able to make that modification without having to change the gun personally. Right. But anyway, that's it, guys. So. We're going to wrap this up. We've got at least one more gun we're going to pull out here as part of our range day preview, showing you guys what we can do as part of SHOT Show. Not SHOT Show, forgive me. Air Gun Expo. I'm running out of gas here, uh, Travis. I think you're just uh, freezing. Yeah, no, no, I'm fine. I'm sweating <laughs> in this coat. Uh, anyway, this is part of our preview of what we want to do for our live range day. Some of the stuff right. we want to work As we work the bugs out. But I think this was... It's a lot of fun. Nice gun. Guys, that's it for now. Uh, Travis, I'm going to come over there and show you how to shut things down. You want to come say bye to people? All right, here? let's do that. And tell them about Gateway to Air Guns and all that kind of stuff. You got it. Well, this is all for the uh, Gateway to Air Guns, the GTA's Air Gun Expo coming up shortly. Um, we're going to have a lot of product out there uh, to review, a lot of guns scopes, um, compressors, a variety of different things. So it's not, it's not all just one kind of thing. A lot of it will be done also inside um, as well as outside. And hopefully uh, between Rick and I, we can convey um, enough information where you're uh, happy with what we're putting out that you can make an objective decision on your purchase. So that's really what it's all about. It's, it's about showing the products in a normal environment and then having uh, customers like yourself look at it and go, okay, that's either A for me or B not for me. I like it or I don't like it. But we, we're just going to give you a bunch of information and let you make your own decision. Uh, we're not here as a salesman for anybody per se. We're just going to get the products that they send us and show them in their natural light, uh, good or bad. All right, guys, we'll see you soon.